Alrighty, so over the years I have lost people, um, like my relatives, like my grandma and grandpa. Granted, their deaths did hurt me, but the moment that I lost someone who was basically like my other half, my soulmate, more than just a best friend to me, to suicide, that shit felt like a knife going through my heart. Because still, till this day, it does not feel real that they are gone. Every day I want to, you know, ask them how they are and how's work going or what's their plans for this weekend. Um, or if they want to go to this upcoming con with me. But then I realize they're not going to spot. Every day I miss dress. And um, their birthday is coming up soon in May. They would have been 24 this year. I never thought in my whole entire life of being alive that I would have. I would lose a friend to, to uh, suicide. feels like that day that I found out about the other passing, uh, it feels like a part of me died that day. Um, a piece of me is, is missing because they were my other half. The funny thing is, is, um, it was between going to a, you know, small convention in Canton, which is, um, Anime Fest, where we met for the first time. It was between going to that and the Nick Croft tour at the time. If I didn't choose that, I would have never, you know, met, you know, my best friend. Um, so I'm glad that I did not go to that grow up to her. Um, but, um, there's probably two cosplays that I just can't bring myself to even cosplay anymore since they have passed. Um, one being Azuku Midoriya from My Hero Academia and, um, Natsuki from um, Doki Doki Literature Club because we both cosplayed those characters. Um, I cosplayed as Deku while they cosplayed as um, Bakugo. And for Doki Doki, um, I did, of course, as you guys know, um, Natsuki and they did Yuri. <laughs> I mean, there was that one time when I tried to cosplay as, um, as Natsuki again. But I, I sort of had a, you know, a breakdown. Kind of just... Just don't, just don't expect those cosplays anytime soon. It, I just still can't believe it's already been one year since they have passed. But I know, I know for, for a fact that, um, they are proud of me right now. Because when I lost my job, because around that time is when I found out about their passing, is when my mental health went down, downhill, because I honestly felt like a failure for not saving them. I didn't want to get out of it. I didn't want to do cosplay at all. I just, I, if I'm going to be honest, I, I didn't want to be in this world anymore because of, because of that. Um, but, uh, Playing is probably one of many things that has kept me going. And um, 
they would be proud that I'm still doing this even after they have passed. I miss you, Jess. We all miss you.